Hey guys, Kate here with these braids and it's been way too long that I've had these in. I have them in from February to May and it's beyond time to take them out. So I'm going to make an attempt at restoring my curls after having in these braids for way too long. Here we go. So I'm going to start by cutting them out because nobody's about to take down these super long braids. And I'm going to cut just below where my hair ends. Next I will use the end of a parting comb or a rat tail comb or just a sharp object if you don't have a comb like this to kind of needle out each braid and that helps me take it down quicker. Once all the braiding hair is out, um, since these were knotless braids, there's a part at the top where it's just my hair braided. So I really go through and um, carefully um, undo that as well as going ahead and starting the detangling process and pulling out those shedded strands gently. Now I am going to part my hair in some sections and uh, comb. So detangle it with a very wide tooth comb and I'm going to be very, very gentle to not pull my hair out with this comb. And I'll start at the ends, working my way up to the roots. Um, after combing through each section, I go in with this oil by Nasera Organics, Nasera Nasara, however it's pronounced, and um, this is to prep my hair for the protein treatment also by the same company. And so I really drench my hair in this oil, not just putting it on my scalp, but also putting it on my strands and really massaging it into my hair. Um, again, these braids were in for like three or four months, so uh, they're dry and they need some moisture. <laughs> so this oil is going to get the process started of re-moisturizing my strands. And here we are, we got six sections and I'm just going to throw on my handy dandy Kroger bag because reduce, reuse, recycle, honey. And we're going to let this sit for at least 45 minutes. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and let it stew overnight and finish the process tomorrow. Well, the next day. Alright, so the next day I'm going to start with the protein treatment by Nasera or Nasara Organics. And um, the YouTube video that the creator created, um, the creator of the brand, she made a video showing how to use the products. She said to really drench your hair in this um, product. So I'm applying this protein treatment very generously. It is all natural, so natural that you have to keep it refrigerated. So it's not damaging to my hair. In fact, uh, most other protein treatments might leave your hair feeling kind of straw and brittle. Straw and brittle. Straw-like <laughs> and brittle. Um, but not this one. My hair does not feel straw-like and brittle and dry after using this protein treatment. So again, I am putting this on quite heavily, um, also finger detangling gently while I put it in, and then I'm going to let it sit.
then I am going to apply my handy dandy Kroger bag again and this protein treatment I let sit in for only 45 minutes 45 minutes max minutes wow I washed that out with some shampoo you want to use shampoo make sure you get your hair clean um, that product is quite oily and after rinsing that out I'm gonna go in with my Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Deep Conditioner by Shea Moisture I don't typically use products with shea butter because my hair is not a fan but I find this um, deep conditioner to be quite moisturizing even for me so I like this I continue to use this one so I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair in sections applying the deep conditioner and then I will detangle with my easy detangler um, in each of these sections very gently also, you don't have to use a ton of product. I mean, I do use enough for my hair, but if I feel like my hair is not gliding uh, or my hands are not gliding through my hair like I want it to, I actually add more water, not more product. You need to add more water to your hair. Now when using this detangler, any detangling tool, I always see people go in with the brush sideways and honey, that's not how you detangle. When it's sideways, that's for smoothing the hair. To detangle, you need to use the brush vertically. Using the brush vertically almost mimics finger detangling the way that it um, comes down through the hair. So when you detangle, use the brush vertically when you want to smooth your hair, create some curls, add some definition, then you use it horizontally. But don't be mad at all these different brush makers when you're not using a brush right. So I am going to um, put the conditioner in, twist my hair into sections, and then throw on <laughs> another croaker bag once again. next day I had a long day yesterday that I did not anticipate being that long so I did not get to rinse out my deep conditioner it is still here I put on this beanie to let it stay warm and cozy so we're about to go hop in the shower rinse it out and do a little wash and go I'll be back after we're done okay so here's the wet results of my wash and go um it's not giving what I wanted it to give. It's not. Uh, you see there's a lot of frizz and um, poofiness in the top area of my hair. And I even started shingling, but it didn't, I was like, I'm not gonna do this through the rest of my hair. Now I will say I actually intended to do the max hydration method when I took these braids out because those braids were in so long but because my schedule got kind of thrown off by whatever it is that came up that day um, I ended up just styling after deep conditioning so I never got to do the clay mask and then 
actually I think that was the only step that I didn't get to do and I feel that would have made a difference because I have another video coming where I did actually get to do the max hydration method and it made a big difference in my hair anyway Here's the results. There's some definition in the back, um, but again, the top is a little poofy and not defined how I would want it to be. Um, it's giving mullet. It's giving what the freak? Um, yeah, wasn't too bad, but it also wasn't what I was going for. But at least there's still a lot of movement, a lot of body. Um, and it actually didn't feel like dry to the touch. I'll say that. It just didn't look great. <laughs> but anyway, that's my final results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Never, I'm convinced that God